All right, we are officially going to get started here. Um, I was just telling everyone as I before I hit the record button, so I wanted to make sure I hit record before um, I started talking about this webinar tonight, um, all about five steps to effortless lead generation. We're going to help you go from no coaching clients to fully booked. Um, and this is a live webinar here today. For those of you that are here with me, um, I'm excited to do this training topic because this is really the first time I have done a, a, this this live webinar on this topic. I've done it privately um, with a lot of my um, career coaching clients over the last few months. And so I'm excited to do this now um, live with you guys here. So let's make sure you guys can hear me. Can everyone hear me okay? Um, welcome, Angie, Cynthia, um, Esther, good to see you. Nicole, good to see you. Lisa, Jessica, um, Dr. Abir, good to see you, Lisa, uh, Tache, Shannon, Renee, um, good to see you guys all. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Okay, so um, we're going to get started here. So five steps to effortless lead generation. Let me know where you're from in the chat. I know we had Tache from the Bay Area. We had Angie from Atlanta. Um, I was telling everyone before we hit the record button that I'm near Malaga, Spain right now. So I'm over in Europe. We've been traveling um, over the last year all over Europe, which is one of the reasons I love coaching. And we're going to talk about that today is because it really can be um, a really flexible business. You can really have clients all over the world and run it from all over the world. So I'm a huge fan of career coaching, which is why I'm excited to have this topic today. Bree's here. Hi, Bree from Zionsville. Indiana, Dublin, Sarah, I see you, love Ireland, um, Abir is from United Arab Emirates, good to see you, um, PCB Florida, Shannon Renee Inverness, Florida, um, thanks Jessica, just letting me know you guys can hear me, okay, so um, we are a minute in, so I think we can get started, I have a lot to share today. Um, so I'm excited. So if we have time at the end, I will, of course, answer your questions. So if you have questions as we go, I'm really going to be concentrating on the slides and the webinar and giving a great training for you. But um, I definitely at, at the end, I will look through all the questions and make sure that um, I have all the questions um, in there for you guys and I've answered them. So if you have questions as we go, <clears throat> just post them and I will, I promise you, I will get them to you. Also at the end, I will be giving you my marketing plan template as well that you can use. Um, so I'm going to be walking you through that and teaching you how to fill that out towards the end. So like I said, we have a lot to cover. So let's get you more leads. Who wants more leads here? Like, are, are you guys already um, have career coaching businesses? Let me know, like, you already have clients, no clients, want clients, like let me know in the chat how you're feeling about clients right now. Um, the big, biggest challenge usually for my clients is not getting those leads, not getting the sales, but we need leads first to get the sales. And so that's why this is really focused on the marketing part and getting those leads in. Um, Sarah says, no clients yet, just starting out. Esther's ready for clients. So this is perfect for you if you're just getting ready for those clients and need those leads. Um, so I'm excited for you. If you want more leads, this is the place to be. This is the year for you to make your career coaching business happen. So um, first of all, like, who am I? If you aren't familiar with Anna and Classy Career Girl, um, we've been qu on quite a journey here at Classy Career Girl. So um, I started the blog in 2011, um, March of 2011. That was the logo with, with the leg, <laughs> the old logo we had. Not my legs, actually. That was a stock photo. But that, that was our logo when we started. Um, and that blog turned into a career coaching business. Um, I loved it so much. I knew I wanted to quit my day job. So in 2014, um, after maternity leave, that's when I officially didn't go back on August 1st, uh, 2014. I had a six week old, you can see in the pictures there. And I officially did not go back to maternity leave. And then a few months later, my husband also quit his day job as well. So we've been doing this full-time career coaching, um, growing our business since 2014. And so that's why, um, you know, as we kind of go through here, um, there's been a, a lot to this whole journey. I've learned a lot, a lot of 
things I wish I would have known beforehand, before becoming a career coach, especially about marketing. You guys have it so easy. You have marketing so easy. I didn't have all the things you have right now to be able to go live and to be able to post and all, all so many ways to get in front of your ideal audience so easily. Um, I didn't have way back in 2011 when I first started. Um, so I'm excited to teach you. If I can do this, you guys can do it too. So I'm excited to teach you all about this. Um, on the slide, you can see um, recently, you can see our family in Athens, Greece. That was a few months back. Um, so I've been able to grow my business so that we can travel while I'm still coaching and running the business as well. So there's a lot of opportunity as a career coach, which is why I can't wait to tell you guys how you can get more leads and more sales and grow your business. So the goal of today's training we're going to talk about digital marketing. We're going to talk about the five signs of a strong marketing plan, the five phases to go from no online presence to new qualified leads every single day so that you can get new clients every week and consistent and growing revenue every month. That is my goal for you. We're going to talk about social media, how to figure out what to post. We're going to talk about really how to reduce the stress and the overwhelm that comes with starting a career coaching business. So if all, that all sounds good to you, you're in the right place. Now, I got to start by saying there's some, some thoughts I hear a lot when I talk to new career coaches. I hear a lot of um, new career coaches saying, marketing is hard. I don't know how to do my marketing. Um, I'm scared about what other people will think. I don't know tech. I don't know how to do social media. I can't find clients. I'm scared my boss will find out. I have no followers. How am I going to make this work? So those are old thoughts. We can have those thoughts and kind of put them to the side because now I'm going to teach you some new thoughts. And those are marketing is fun. Why? Because you get to help people. There are people on that other side of your phone who need your help and they're just waiting for you to post so that you can help them. And it, we can make marketing fun. The more fun you have, the more you're going to attract new clients. People are going to be want to be around you when you're having fun doing this. So marketing is fun. You get to help people. Other people need my help today. I wake up every single morning. I'm like, who can I help today? What is who is the one person that I'm going to help today? Hopefully, I, there's there's more than one of you here today. So I have done my. I can check my box and say that I have helped my one person today. Other people need your help today, and this is you know, if you want to be a career coach, you probably have thought a lot about your purpose and your own calling and your own career. And you have a message that you want to share. And that's really when I started way back in those early days. I just wanted to help people. I knew that this was my purpose. And I knew I had a bigger impact and bigger you know, message that I wanted to share. I, I had a bigger impact to make than my day job. I knew that there was something else out there for me. So that's what we're doing. This is, this is, your, this is your purpose. Um, if you don't know marketing and social media, you can learn it. That's why you're here today to learn. If you don't know something, there's plenty of resources to be able to help you learn it. Your clients are waiting for you. They're out there. They need you. Um, so many times we think, no, I have no clients. There's no one out there that wants to hear from me, but there's so many people out there that have problems that you know how to solve. There's so many job searchers out there. There's so many people that need help with their productivity and their leadership and their career, their career fulfillment. Um, the clients are waiting for you. If you're worried about your boss, let me tell you that unfortunately your boss could probably care less about what you do in your free time. If you're doing this in the mornings or the weekends or you know after work, they don't care. They don't care what you're doing. Um, most likely it's something completely different than what you do in your day job. Um, my boss, I was very scared as well when I started my blog. It was anonymous and I didn't put my face out there, my name out there. I was so worried that my fancy consulting job was going to find out what I was doing in my spare time and nights and weekends, the job that I worked my butt off at. Um, and I was so worried my boss was going to find out. But I mean, a few months later, I decided that I was just going to like put my name and face out there. Like I, I realized like, this is my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do with my life. I need to keep the day job. Right. But I'm going to explore this in my evenings and my weekends, and it's not going to affect my work. And I'm just going to put it out there. And one of my bosses, a few years later, as I was doing building my business on the side of my day job, saw me in a People Style Watch magazine. And she was on vacation and she bought the People Style Watch magazine and found me like I had a quote at a feature in it years ago. And that's how she found out about my blog. But 
here's the thing. Everyone who found out at my day job, they were actually, they thought it was really neat and really exciting. And um, we're super proud of what I was doing in my spare time of helping people. And so all my bosses eventually found out, but they, they could care less. They didn't care what I was doing. Um, and your followers, if you're worried you have no followers, they're going to come. You just have to execute the marketing plan that you're going to learn today and just help one person every day. It's really about that consistency of just helping people. <clears throat> so hopefully that simplifies some of those worries that you have. Um, I know some of the frustrations, um, there's no time on top of your day job and your personal commitments. Totally understand that when I started as well. Like I said, I had this cute little newborn who just turned 10, if you can believe it. Um, so I totally understand the juggle, but career coaching really is a way that you can design your schedule. We're going to go get into that for a sec in a second here. But just know your vision, know where you're headed. If we get so worried about the day-to-day -day and what are people going to think when I post, and the thing that really helped me during that time was just knowing where I was going, what my why was. My why was this little girl on the screen, right? Like that's why I was doing what I was doing. And then when I just kept focusing on that vision to have more time with her, um, I that that made it made it better to be able to get out there and do my purpose and what I was out there to do. You may not have any money for ads. That's okay. We don't need money. I do not recommend spending money on ads to begin with. So no worries. Um, you don't actually even need a website. You don't even need like any of the stuff that you might be worried about um, to get started as a career coach. You don't need tech or social media skills at all. Um, and you just need to, that desire to help people with their career. And also you may not be sure like where to start to grow your business. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, our mission at Classy Career Girl is career fulfillment for all women. And so that's why this is so exciting. This like this phase of our business where we now get to support other career coaches. Um, now that we have we have our career coach certification program here at Classy Career Girl, we have the Career Coach Marketing Academy now. Um, and those are just really exciting programs that I can now share my knowledge and give back and help other career coaches. Because if I can help other career coaches grow their businesses and get more clients, that's helping me achieve this, this, this ultimate mission of mine of career fulfillment for all women. So I want you to grow your business. I want you to help more people. Cause like I said, I have, I have three daughters now. And so my time is limited. I can't help people all around the world. I can't do hours and hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching anymore, but I can help you guys and we can, we can help each other and we can support each other and we can help other people find career fulfillment. So that's why I do this. So career coach journey in the beginning, when I was just starting my business, my marketing was, we, I, at that time, I really just had Facebook. That was all, all 2011, 2012 days. There was not all of the opportunities for marketing that you have right now. You do, I didn't have all the social media platforms that you have, um, which makes it harder to figure out which to focus on. I get that. Um, but you also have so many people at your fingertips through social media. One of the things I recommend is email marketing. So on the screen here is the picture of one of my early emails, very early emails with the with the old logo, the legs, right? And you can see I had I linked um, one of my courses that I was doing in that one of my very first courses. This is the email where I got my first sale um, on PayPal while I was sitting on my cubicle because I had I put this course out there through this email, but really it all came through email marketing and through my marketing and, and building leads and, and writing on that blog. And so that's where it all started um, and was able to figure out really a lot of you guys I know have other commitments in your life. And so what I've had to do over the last 10 years is make my business work for me. And so I work a lot less even than I, I have, I have a lot less time than I used to have, especially when I first started blogging in like 2011, I had no kids. I thought I was super busy going to business school, but really I had all, I had a lot of time back then. And so over the last 10 years of going full-time with Classy Krugel, that's when I really realized and, and, and then having kids after kids, is I've had to do this while I've been on maternity leave. I've had to design my career coaching business to work for my life and work the schedule that I want to work and not work, you know, during summer or work while I'm traveling or now work while I'm homeschooling. And so 
Um, that's part of marketing too, is we're not going to be on social media all the time. We're not going to be on, you know, we're not going to be blogging all the time. We're not going to be doing marketing all the time. We're really going to learn how we can automate a lot of this stuff and make it simple and make it easy. And so that's what this success path that I'm going to teach you today is all about is how can we simplify this? So it takes less time. So you can spend more time doing what you love and being with the people that you love. So career coaching is the best career ever. I love it. You get to have more time freedom, more flexibility, you get to set your own schedule. The the other thing I love is the personal growth that goes with it. I'm always learning, always improving. I just finished an audio book like an hour before we were on this call learning myself. And that's really important because as career coaches, we're going to be hired for what's in our brains and what we're, we're learning and how we can help people and the strategies we can provide. And so that's another reason I love coaching. There's a lot of income growth as well, too, with having a flexible calendar, too, with group coaching you can provide and digital products, which I highly recommend. And then you also have this big purpose. You can impact people around the world. So that's awesome. So let's dive into the main uh, training for today, which really is this success path, these steps that are going to take you from no online presence to new qualified leads every single day, new clients every week, and consistent and growing revenue every month. So in the beginning, we have this startup. You're starting in phase one, which is your social startup. I'm going to walk you through then how phase two, you're going to start to build your brand you're going to go pro on social. You're going to be a marketing maven in phase four. And then that revenue is really going to come in phase five. And the whole goal is to continue to bring in those clients every single week um, and bring in those, those sales every single week so you can continue to grow your revenue. So let me know as we go through this presentation today, I would love to know like what phase you're at. Like, where are you? If you are just kind of getting started in your career coaching business, you might be on the earlier side. Um, like you probably are on phase one, which is when you really don't have an online presence yet. You're kind of scared to post on social media and people at this stage don't know what to say on social media or how to use it correctly. So if you're in phase one, let me know, say phase one in the chat. Now, <clears throat> potentially you may already have, um, I work with a lot of coaches who already have social media set up. And so now, you know, maybe they have a few posts up, but feeling really inconsistent posting on social media and you feel the pressure of creating content and always feeling behind in your content calendar. So I definitely know what this is like, um, feeling behind, feeling like you're on that hamster wheel and just not getting ahead. <clears throat> so in phase two, that's when we'll kind of walk you through the steps today. Um, but that's really when we start to build your brand and then your social media posts and your schedule and your, your batching system systems is key here so that it, you have more free time and you don't feel stressed out. Cause the, the key is if you're, if you're stressed doing social media and your marketing, you're not going to produce the best content. So right now I am, um, <clears throat> I'm batched through August. So I'm recording this mid July. So I have, you know, all this content already batched on my podcast, the Classic Career Goal podcast that I'm not worried about. And so that's really nice because then I get these ideas now of what I can post the next month. And I'm not, they're better ideas because I'm not like trying to do it last minute and stressed out. So then in phase three, now you're starting to feel more confident. You have the brand, you have the posts, you have the marketing plan. You're excited to finally start collecting more leads, but this is really where we start your email marketing. And so this is going to help you feel more organized and start like the automation. So you can start to get to those leads coming in automatically. This is what I was able to do when I was on maternity leave. I had leads coming in automatically while, during my first maternity leave way back in 2014. And so for those six weeks, I was getting all those leads. And then when I was finally ready to come back from maternity lead, I had all these applications from people who wanted to work with me during that time. So I was really able to build my business, um, you know, in those first six months, <clears throat> all because of email marketing. Um, phase four is marketing maven. And this is when you're feeling in control of your marketing. You're starting to do the launches of your programs. Maybe you have a group coaching program or some digital products <clears throat> and you're excited about scaling your business, which you can really start doing now 
and optimizing your website and running ads. And then phase five is when the revenues really starts to come because now you're getting qualified leads every day, new clients every week, consistent and growing revenue every month. And you're finally really feeling financial stability and freedom. So the problem here, you know, we've kind of go, gone over the phases, but the problem here then is like, wh what step do I take? Okay, Anna, I'm in phase one, I'm in phase two, but how do I get to the next phase? And that's what I'm going to go over next. On the screen is one of our, my first, um, I went to this Girls World Expo. So it was like a bunch of girls who are trying to figure out what they should be for their next career. And I set up my, I got a banner and I set up my computer to my website and played music and had a little raffle. And it was really, it was really cute <laughs> back then. Um, take pictures, take pictures of your startup. So you have them. <clears throat> so new mindset. It is possible to grow your career coaching business. These are some of my clients. Um, got to give a shout out to Nicole Miles. She was named a top 15 career coach in Las Vegas. So congrats to you, Nicole. Bree, I saw you here. Got, you know, this was, this is quite a while ago, but you got your first paid sign up for my workshop. I think you got many more since then, right? Karina got her first appointment. Again, this was quite a while ago. I know she's had some clients. I love seeing my clients say, I closed the deal because that's what it's all about. And one thing too, because Candace, when she said I closed the deal, <clears throat> the thing about closing sales and getting clients, because we all, everyone wants to jump to like, how do I get clients? It's the most important thing you can do is work on your marketing. Your marketing is going to make sales simple and easy. And we're not even going to talk about sales today because sales is so much easier and natural, and you're not going to feel sleazy or slimy. People are just going to enroll in your coaching because of the marketing that you did. They're already going to have built that trust and that relationship with you so that by the time they get on a sales call or get to your sales page, they're already going to know, like, and trust you and want to work with you. So that is our goal of marketing. So let's go over the steps in phase one, because I think I saw a lot of you guys, um, Rashonda. Hey, Rashonda is in phase one, Sarah, phase one, Tasha is in phase one. Yes. Um, Dr. Abir, you're in phase two. Awesome. Yeah, definitely take photos, Cynthia says. Definitely. Okay. So a lot of you guys are in phase one. So I'll focus there first. <clears throat> so in phase one, like I said, this is when you don't have an online presence. You're kind of scared to post and kind of figure, trying to figure out what to post on social media and what to say. So <clears throat> some action steps in this phase are to identify your best buyers and your main marketing strategies. So we want to figure out in this phase, who are the people that have the problem that you know how to solve? Who are the people that have those challenges? Maybe they're you a year ago you, and you know what it's like to be job searching or you know what it's like to be stuck in a job you hate, or you know what it's like to want to be an entrepreneur, but not know the steps that you need to take, or you know what it's like to be a new mom and not know how to handle your to-do list and just get groceries or anything like that. Um, I remember, I, I know those days very well. And so we have to figure out who those best buyers are that have the challenges that you know how to solve. And then we have to figure out your main marketing strategy. And so here, when it comes to figuring out your main marketing strategy, we have to figure out who has the audience that is already out there that you could get in front of. And so that's really the best way to be able to start to build your career coaching business is to figure out who those best buyers are and where they are right now. And a lot of times it's social media, right? A lot of times the two main ones for career coaches are Instagram and LinkedIn, right? Those are the two I recommend. Um, but we have to figure out how we're going to get in front of that audience. The next thing you'll do is you'll create your marketing plan and you'll conduct market research. So I'm going to go over in a little bit here how to create a marketing plan. And then a really important thing to do in the beginning here of phase one is to create your vision and your annual marketing goals. And so we want to get really clear on where we want to be over the next year and what that vision is even over the next three to five years. That's what carried me through a lot of those hard, tough times in those first that first year of career coaching is just really knowing what my why was, what my vision is, and where I wanted to be in the future. 
And a lot of that vision has come true when I look back at my old vision board. So um, don't do a vision board. That's that's another phase one step. So in phase one, then the big rocks that you want to do when you're in the beginning is figuring out like how you're going to generate those leads. There's a lot of different things that you could focus on, but we want to get really focused on one social media platform. You do not need to be everywhere. We want to focus on one thing. If you have had any clients before, we want to see what is working and really focus in on what is working and where that market is. And then we really want to identify what your ideal client is thinking, who they are. We want to know them inside and out. So we want to know who they are, but also those challenges that are really keeping them up at night. Um, And we want to know how to attract your first clients. That is a key thing in phase one of the social startup is like, how are we going to take that audience, those people on social media um, and how are we, what is the strategy that we're going to use and the platform that we're going to use? Because remember, like I said, we're just going to pick one so that we can bring them into our world and tell them how we can help them. And I think all that will be really We'll go through a little bit more in a bit here when we do your marketing plan. The second phase then is brand builder. And so your brand builder is when, like I said, you may have a few posts up because it's easy to click post and you can do a few posts, but then how do you stay consistent with it? Because consistency is what's going to build that trust and relationship with your clients. So some action steps here is completing your first live stream and video. I recommend going live once a week or like I do a podcast once a week. Um, So if you want to do like a blog once a week or a YouTube video once a week, but really like a live Instagram live or LinkedIn live, those are the easiest things that you can do on a weekly basis. Um, And then also complete your branding kit, your media kit, and your social media plan. So at this stage, we want to get start to get ready to start pitching ourselves um, for other podcast interviews and other speaking opportunities so that we can start to get in front of other audiences. And then you want to make sure that you have a social media plan and that you're also posting three times a week. Just three times a week really is that consistent level. And then ideally doing that that one live every single week as well too. Um, So this can be easy. Don't get overwhelmed because like I said, a lot of you are in phase one. So you got to do the foundation first and that makes phase two a lot easier. Phase three is then when we really focus on your email list. And so in phase three, what I recommend for career coaches is doing live free webinars. Hey, just like this and leading that into your business and leading that into like a sales conversation with you. And to do that, we really need to set up your email system. And so that's what we do in phase three. Um, We also do ads. And so ads are something that are really um, a great thing to know how to do. You do not need to hire an advertising company. We do it internally here on our team. Um, I learned ads way back in, I did my first ad in 2014 while I was about to go on maternity leave and ran those ads through maternity leave. And there's been a lot of changes with advertising, but um, it's definitely something that you want to know how to do because that's another automated way to b- bring leads into your business. And so that's what we cover in phase three. And then you also want to set up like a weekly newsletter system so that you can engage with those people that are are registering for your email list and set up metrics to track that as well. In phase four, that's when we really start to optimize your website. We start to um, think through the launch of your programs. By this point, you probably have some scalable programs like a group coaching program or some digital products or courses that you're selling. So at this point, we really want to create that launch plan so you know over the next year when you're launching, and then we can really um, create your marketing plan and your promotional content around that launch. So every 90 days, I know in that next 90 days when my launches are going to be so that I can plan my social media content, my podcast content around those launches. And that just makes life a lot easier. People kind of get stressed about launches, but to me... 
that helps me know when I have to work a little bit harder in the business. And then I know when I can be off a little bit when I don't have a launch as well. So I use launches not to like stress myself out, but to know when I can take time off and when is, you know, when are the times that I need a little bit lighter in my business? Um, so like if I'm going about to go through a big move, which we're kind of in the midst of here soon, there's going to not going to be any launches for me next month. I'm kind of going to just be, um, you know, kind of doing just the, the bare minimum. And then I will gear up for like a September launch. Um, but in August, there's not going to be, a, there's going to be no launching. Right. And so that's what you can do in phase four. You can really plan that calendar around your life and like when you need to not launch. And then obviously phase four, you can, op you can build a website, optimize that website with SEO as well. Um, really important, but just not something you need to worry about when you're in phase one. And that's what people get so worried about websites and ads and SEO in the beginning. And I'm like, you don't need that. Just follow the steps. Um, you'll get there and it will all be worth it that you worked on the foundation. Because then in phase five, that's when the growing revenue really comes and the financial stability and the time freedom. And this is really where we can perfect like your PR pitching so that you can, like I said in the beginning, I was um, in People's Style Watch magazine and the Forbes and Wall Street Journal and all of those things are awesome. And they all come from, you don't need a PR person. You can do this yourself through your, your own PR pitching system or a, a virtual assistant or someone can help you with it. Um, and then this is really where you build out your marketing team, your org chart for your marketing, you set up more. Um, there's a lot of tools for marketing that you can use as well. And a lot of ways that you can start to automate leads. And this is really where you create your marketing systems. So this is the success path. Um, and so now it's really like how to put a plan in action, because I always say with a great plan, the doing is easy. I am a big planner, love to plan. And so really today, without a marketing plan, you're going to stay stuck and you're going to overcomplicate marketing. So I'm going to give you um, this, this um, template when we're done here today. This is our marketing plan. So these are just the five things that you need to ask yourself to have a marketing plan so you know what to post on social media. So the first step is what products or services will you offer? This actually isn't a marketing question at all, but I can't help you with marketing if we don't know what we're actually going to be selling. What are those products or services that you're going to offer? To make this super simple, I usually recommend really focusing on individual coaching first. Um, most of you guys are just starting your career coaching businesses, so I, I recommend doing one-on-one -on -one coaching first. Um, and then adding in a digital product, a, a course, or a, a workshop, and then adding group coaching in or some sort of um, group course that you launch as well too. Um, so pick one. <laughs> let, let me know in the chat which one is it going to be for you. Um, but we got to know what are what is our marketing going to be driving to? Where you know we can get all these leads, but why? What are we going to be selling? What is that? place that we want them to end up at the end of all of this. And then value. What amazing free stuff can you provide that gives a ton of value to your audience? So I said in the beginning, this is all about helping one person every day. You know so much. Everyone, I, most use that. <laughs> most of the time when I talk to people who want to be career coaches who are just getting started, they have so many like tools and templates and courses that they've created, but they're just like sitting on their computer. And or they're sitting in their head, but they want to get them out. Most people have like 10 digital products in their head. Um, I know I, I do. Um, and so we have to get that out and we have to start providing value every single day. And so free, free, that's what social media is. It's providing free content and helping people. So what are those free ways? What, what do you know that other people need to know? What problems do you know how to solve that you can provide to your audience that is free? These are social media posts. This is what I said, like a, a go live YouTube video. It's my classic career goal podcast. I've been doing weekly podcasts for years and years and years and years. Um, like free, valuable content, no strings attached. Just go watch my free stuff. I give value. I've been blogging since 2010. Um, and then leads. How are people going to discover you? So 
a lot of people think they can just post on social media and they're just going to get a bunch of followers. And that's just not the case. So along with creating your own social media strategy, your brand, you know, your profile on social media, or maybe your website eventually, we also have to figure out where our ideal clients are and how we're going to get in front of them. So we can't just, I remember um, when my husband first started um, at Classy Krugel in 2014, he had just quit his day job and he put up this page on our website and um, he's going to laugh, laugh if he's listening to me because he put up this page and it was just like a list of all the courses I ever created. And it was like, buy this, buy this, buy this. And he thought like this one page was just, it was his first thing he did at our company because he thought this one page was just going to bring in a ton of sales just by having this one page on our website. And it brought in no sales. No one's just going to like see a page and and randomly buy without us actually promoting it, Right. Um, so we have to get, if I would have like gotten in front of a group of people and told them about this page and, and promoted this page, then I could have driven traffic to this page. I would have gotten in front of my ideal clients and then we probably would have gotten some sales, right? But just putting up a page, putting up a social media, um, you know, profile isn't going to bring in all the leads and the sales. So we have to figure out for me in the beginning, um, just from my experience, when I was um, working my day job and doing this on the side, I was also doing speaking events. Um, so I would go speak at organizations. I think I spoke at all of the women's professional organizations um, in San Diego at the time. I was just pitching and, and emailing all of them and telling them, you know, the topic I could speak on, how I could help their audience. And so that's an example. Podcast interviews are another example. Speaking interviews are another example. Facebook groups, um, get, you know, getting in front of your audience on other people's Facebook groups who have already spent years building up that group. So figure out where they are and how you can get in front of them. Um, and then your prospects. So then you got to turn those leads into prospects and start to obtain their contact information. And this is where you know, getting them maybe to book on your calendar through like a Calendly booking system, um, make, getting their contact information, um, or this is where we start your email newsletter or your email system so that you can turn those leads and you can provide something for free in exchange for their email address. Um, just like many of you have opted into something on my website in exchange for something free. You gave me your email address. That's how I notified you about today's webinar. In exchange for this training, you gave me your email address, right? And so those are some ways to start to get to um, people's contact information. Another reason why I recommend free webinars as well. And then we have to figure out how you're going to turn interested prospects into customers. And so just being on your email list doesn't guarantee a sale. Trust me, I have a lot of people on my email list but not everyone on my email list has bought something from me. And so I have to be very intentional about how I'm nurturing that email list, how I'm contacting them. Am I doing um, you know, free content every week on my podcast for the email list? Am I doing monthly webinars like this for my email list so we can start to build that, that trust and relationship with you guys on my email list? And so those are some ways that you can start to think about how you can start to turn those interested prospects into customers. So once again, it is possible. Um, coaches are doing this all over the world. Um, these are two of our certified career coaches at Classy Krugel. Um, Jen Pastikas now has five clients. She's fully booked and building out and launching her group coaching program, uh, working on her second book as well. And then Katie as well is like, is also booked scaling more now and building out that group coaching program um, and then traveling too. She was in Europe and was still able to grow her business. So it's possible career coaches are doing this, building up those leads, do going through the path that we talked about today. So you now have, as a recap of today, you now have a path and you know where you're at when it comes to your marketing and social media. Most of you said phase one, phase two, maybe your phase three, four. You have a template, a marketing plan template now to create your marketing plan. You know what those five steps are to create your marketing plan. So now what? Now I get to tell you about my academy. It is called the Career Coach Marketing Academy. 
And I created the Career Coach Marketing Academy because I saw so many career coaches struggling with this topic of like, what should I post on social media? So if you are starting out, you don't have an online presence yet, you're scared to post on social media, um, most coaches at this phase don't know what to say on social media or how to use social media correctly. They just know that they feel trapped in unfulfilling work and are ready to start procrastinating and establish themselves as a successful career coach. So if you're at this stage, you're probably feeling stressed because of a lack of clients, a lack of revenue, and you're ready to get the tools you need to grow your business and invest in your professional development. So by building your marketing skills, you will be able to get new qualified leads every day, new clients every week, and consistent and growing revenue every month. When you master marketing, you know then you can start to scale your business revenue and feel fulfilled, energized, and supported. So that is why I created the Career Coach Marketing Academy. And I did it because um, as I uh, as I was like traveling over this last year and still scaling our business and homeschooling now as well, I'm constantly, constantly asked, how do I schedule my content? How do I stay consistent on social media? How do I create so much content? How do I plan my launches and promotional content? How do I do webinars like this? How do I get more sales calls on my calendar? How do I build my audience? So I decided to package everything up I know about marketing and give you the behind the scenes so you can effortlessly attract clients and finally have the freedom to quit your day job and make a lasting impact on the lives of your clients. So today you can join the Career Coach Marketing Academy. It is actually only open um, while we're doing the live webinar right now. Um, and you can actually join by going to classycareergirl.com forward slash academy. Um, so I will put that in the chat right now. So you have um, the link to it. And then I'm going to keep going through this here for you guys. So I can explain a little bit more um, about it. Um, so let me put this in here for you guys. Classycareergirl.com forward slash academy. There you go. I don't know if that's going to link. Oh, it will link. Okay. So let me know if you have any trouble with that. That is the link to the Career Coach Marketing Academy. Super excited because this is only the second time we've actually opened doors to the Career Coach Marketing Academy, and it now has a beautiful little spot on our membership site. So you can actually now, um, before when we launched it, it didn't have a home on our membership site, but today it does. Um, when you join us in the Career Coach Marketing Academy now, <clears throat> it does have a spot on the membership site. So this is what it looks like. And inside you'll have training modules. You'll get to see the calendar for up, our upcoming calls. We have a community on Facebook as well too. Um, <clears throat> so you can get your questions answered and connect with other career coaches um, I do live monthly Q and A's every single month. And then every month, every week, really, we're, we're giving you guys something new, um, some tools, some resource, some behind the scenes. Um, and then we have a lot of bonuses in there as well, too. So like I said, what you receive, you get easy social media templates, quick start marketing resources, new monthly marketing masterclasses with the latest social media updates. Um, so over the next month, we'll be, this is a, it's a membership, <clears throat> by the way. So Every month, we give you brand new content um, to help you with social media. So upcoming training is going to be all about social media and LinkedIn and Instagram, which are the two places that I recommend career coaches use. Um, also, you can finally get your questions answered. So every month, you get an opportunity to ask your questions at our live Q&A. And then every month as well, I do a video, a brand new video of behind the scenes trainings to skyrocket your audience. And so the best thing really about this is it's specific for career coaches as well. And so this is one of the things I needed when I started because I was getting a lot of advice from people who were not career coaches. And so I had to find my own path. And so, like I said, I hope that this really helps you because it's specific for career coach marketing this whole success path that we went over today is specifically for career coaches so that they know how to go from no online presence to new qualified leads every single day 
And my goal really is to have that Facebook group community so that we can support each other and connect and, and help you grow your business. So this is for brand new career coaches. If you're brand new, just thinking about it, it's also for future career coaches who may not be ready yet to click post, but are thinking about it so that you'll, you will be ready when the time comes. And then it's also for career coaches who already have clients who really want to scale because as we get into like the later phases, like we talked about phase three, email marketing automation, phase four, website optimization, SEO, um, ads as well. Um, so if you already have are in a, a already are a career coach and you really haven't done launches or group coaching or digital products or courses, um, the Career Coach Marketing Academy is going to be great for you. It's really for anyone who loves helping people with their career and wants to make extra income helping others. And I know that's a lot of you here today. Um, we do have a bonus. It's called Magic Income Streams. Um, definitely make sure that you click that link and that you join the Career Coach Marketing Academy. Um, there's no like long-term commitment. So um, definitely you can join, you can cancel anytime. Um, so we also have a bonus if you join today, it's called Magic Income Streams. Um, this, this training, um, it is a course I did. Um, it is all about how to add additional revenue into your business. So as career coaches, we don't want to just rely on one income stream, like one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? We want to have a lot of different revenue streams coming into our business. So when I look at my books, um, you know, from my bookkeeper every month, I can see that there's a lot of different types of programs and products I sell that are is bringing that revenue in. So I don't just rely on one. And so that's what this course is all about. It's helping you figure out which of the income streams you want to build into your business and then grow that. So you can really um, hit your profit goals over the next six months to a year. And I should say, because I know we have a lot of you guys in our career coach certification program here today, I saw a lot of you guys and you already have access to it in the membership site. So you don't need to purchase again if you are one of our certified career coaches. And by the way, um, put CCG certified in the chat if you are one of our in our in our CCG certification program, because I saw we had Esther, I saw Bree, um, I saw Rashonda, I saw you in there, I saw Sarah. Um, yes, I saw a lot of you guys in here. Okay. So to recap, here's what you get with the career coach marketing Academy. You get easy templates, quick start resources, new monthly marketing masterclasses with the latest social media updates specifically for career coaches. Um, you can finally get your questions answered at our monthly live Q and a events. You get behind the scenes trainings to skyrocket your audience, the career coach marketing success path. Um, our private Facebook group community for support and feedback, and then our bonus course, the Magic Income Streams course as well that is available today. So um, I will be here to support you all the way. If you can't tell, I love I love talking about marketing. So that's why I created the career coach. I love career coaching and I love marketing. So the career coach marketing, and I love teaching <laughs> and creating courses and content. So the Career Coach Marketing Academy is like a combination of all the things I love. Um, so I'm totally here to support you inside of our Career Coach Marketing Academy. I hope you join us today. Um, it really is a program that's going to help you scale your business revenue and so you can feel fulfilled, energized, and supported. So if you really want to be confident in your marketing and inspired by a growing community of people on social media, um, that are building in those leads so that you can bring that the sales and that consistent revenue coming in, then I invite you to the Career Coach Marketing Academy. Come join us. Um, come say yes to us, yes to more leads, more sales, and really yes to celebrating your results and having that income then so that you can invest in yourself and your growth and your professional development too. But then you're also saying, like you're not only saying yes to yourself, you're also saying yes to making a greater impact um, in your own career too, and a greater impact on your audience and clients and a greater impact by helping one person every day too through your marketing so that we can help people find career fulfillment together. So I look forward to being your guide along the way. Make sure you go to classycareergirl.com forward slash academy, and that will um, give you all the information that you need. And I have time now to answer your questions. So um, now is a really good time to post any questions that you have. Um, and 
Um, Lisa says, I'm not sure my business is career coaching, mostly help with resumes and interviews and whatnot. So good question, Lisa. So career coaching, I have four different specializations. Um, job search coaching is definitely like resumes and interviews, um, would definitely be under the umbrella of career coaching. And so that would be, um, in our certification program, um, which is a separate program. We have four specializations. So we have job search coaching, which is helping people identify what that ideal career for them is, and then helping them with resumes and interviews. Um, so <clears throat> I think Lisa, that would, that's where that would fall. So yeah, the career coach marketing Academy would definitely be perfect for your type of coaching. Um, we also have under that umbrella of career coaching. If you're kind of wondering, am I a career coach? Um, we, productivity coaching is also under that umbrella as well, which is, you know, helping people with their annual plans or 90 day plans, helping them get more organized, less stress, plan more time for the things that really matter in their life, day to day to do list, um, get more organized. Really, all of these affect your life too. So that I mean, career is like if, if your career is not working, your life's probably not working. If your life's not working, your career is probably not working. Their career is so important to your overall well-being in life. And so that's why like the productivity coaching um, is another type of coaching that's under career because when you get more organized and productive, you're gonna have better results in your career too. So there's a lot of overlap. There's also leadership coaching and executive coaching that is also under the, our career coaching umbrella. Um, that could be, you know, helping leaders get promoted, you know, and it could be helping, um, helping them network and helping them maybe make a job transfer as well too. And then business coaching. So, um, a lot of, a lot of our coaches are helping, um, there's so many opportunities with entrepreneurship these days. And so getting the word out and helping people identify, what their ideal business is, or if they have the entrepreneur personality and helping them kind of with those first steps of creating a business plan or figuring out which should they be an entrepreneur or what those first steps are too, though that's under career coaching as well too. When you run a business, that's part, that's your career too. So, um, okay. So all of those, that is my tenure of being a, a career coach definition. Um, you know, of, it's, it's really about helping people find a job or business they love so that they can, um, you know, have live the life that they want to. So that's the big overall. Um, Carrie says, do resources include images and real templates? Yes. Yeah, so every month we add, or every week, I should say, we continue to add more training and more templates and more content. So we do have some, we do have Canva templates already um, on the membership site. And then every week we'll be adding more things. So that's kind of one of the best things too, is like you get in there, you say, I need a real template. Now that I can easily get for you. So this is the best thing. And this is why I love having you guys join us because I can easily make that for you guys as a, as a template because I have it in Canva um, specifically for career coaches too. So you come in, you tell me what you need and we'll make sure it gets on the calendar. So you get it over the coming months as well too. So there's a lot of that opportunity for, for you to, because it's at such a low price right now, like eventually this will be a $97 per month product. Um, but because, you know, it's, it is in the early days of the career coach marketing Academy, it is at the, lo that low price point right now, um, because we are still adding all of this great stuff, like real templates, um, you know, and even more images and everything to the career coach marketing Academy. But now that we have it on the membership site, um, we ha we are ready to really, um, build it out. And that's why the next time we open, it is going to be at the higher price point. Um, Michael says, do I understand this is once a month or twice a month group meeting and the community support structure. So every month there's a live call with me. Um, and that's kind of like a Q and a call. I kind of take the top questions that we've been receiving over the month. Um, and that's a live group call. Um, and then every week we release something new. So like um, like Carrie's great example of real templates, that might be a thing that we, I'm literally going to write it down. Um, and this is a great example, by the way, watch what I'm doing. This is a great example of market research and like figuring out what do your ideal clients want? Because that was not in my head of what I thought you guys needed in the career coach marketing Academy, but by talking to you and hosting these events, 
I get ideas that helps me create like better content, better products as well too. And then, um, and then we have a, a Facebook group. So that's, um, that's the community support. So executing, you know, through the path and the actions, um, is in, is in the Facebook group. Okay. Carrie's in for a year. Oh yeah. There's also an annual option. Awesome. Carrie, you're smart. You're very, very smart. Cause the price is going up <laughs> when we open it again. Um, yes. So she says, reels take me an hour and they help grow audience. So getting better content or more efficient would be amazing to save time. Yes, we can definitely batch those reels and make it super simple. Um, the other thing is to experiment too. So I will tell you my carousel posts do even better than my reels. Occasionally my reels will do better, but I feel like a lot of people aren't talking <laughs> about the carousel posts. Um, and yeah, well, we're, there's actually a behind the scenes training that's coming up, um, later this month. That's going to be all about how, what we use on Instagram to grow our email list as well. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for you, Carrie. I will see you inside. Um, uh, okay. Does anyone else? Hey, Raquel, good to see you. Hi, Mariah. Good to see you. Um, yes, our st certified career coaches are in the house tonight. Okay. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Did I miss any here? Um, oh yes. Yes. Thank you, Marlene. I think you're talking about the, um, I think that you are talking about the marketing plan template if I'm right. Cause I said you are right. I said I would share the template and I haven't yet. So let me put that in the chat. So this is my thank you. Um, for staying with us. And I hope that you use that. Um, let me, let me share my screen again with you so that I can, um, make sure you see what, what you get. Okay. So this is the marketing plan template. Um, I already went through this earlier on in the call. Um, but we kind of walk you through this and I have a whole training inside the career coach marketing Academy. It's kind of part of phase one. So definitely what, you know, if you join like Carrie, watch that training, um, the first part of, we have like a whole, um, an onboarding section, which is going to kind of cover what we covered today, which is like kind of that success path. Um, so that will be helpful for you, um, to kind of walk through. And then once you get to phase one training, I have a video in there that just covers like how, how to complete this. And then I also have a completed template. Um, where it's actually filled out of what I recommend putting in each of these categories. And this is why it's so fun because you guys can just kind of copy what I know works in the Career Coach Marketing Academy. Um, okay, so Michael says, is there a way to, I don't want to say shortcut, but if I, how can I go, um, if I may be at step two or three versus scratch, is there anything um, or just go through the phases and run? So I always recommend starting at the beginning, the foundation. Now, you know, you could start at a later phase, um, but because it's so important to really know like, like this today, right? Like your marketing plan, your social media plan as well. Um, you know, kind of having that foundation, um, phase one, two, we do like your marketing, um, your, your market research as well. And when I go back, um, to the, the success path as well. So you guys are going to see behind the scenes here. Um, when I go back to the success path and we go back to the slides, so bear with me here. Um, when we go back to the slides and we go through like phase one here, here's your tutorial on Canva. We also have a Canva tutorial. So if you don't know how to do Canva in the bonuses section, once you get into the marketing Academy, um, make sure that you go to the bonuses section. Cause I did a whole training on how to get, how to use Canva and get set up with Canva. We also have a, a bonus tech training too, um, that walks you through like what resources you should use for your email list as well. So action steps, um, and milestones. So that's why we have these milestones here. I didn't really review it too much during the early, during the earlier part of today, but you can go to, the, to a later phase once you've answered yes to these questions. So do you know how you will generate leads? Yes. Okay. You can maybe move. If you can answer yes to all three of these questions, then maybe you are at a later phase. Um, I will tell you, um, yeah, the, as of now, all of phase one is completed. And then 
the rest of the phases will be built out and completed as we kind of go through the coming months. But each each week, there's something brand new in there as well, too, that are that are cover all of the phases. So like I said, like, we'll be covering phase four, you know, how we build our email list and how we run our ads and everything like that, too, coming later this month. Um, so that's the exciting part. There's always something new. Every Monday, you get a newsletter from us and we give you we give you a little treat. Um, Sarah says, can your marketing plan include more than one specialty? For example, one week career, another week leadership. Um, so yeah, you can definitely specialize in more than one thing um, as a career coach. And so that just, that builds, you know, the, uh, the things that you can teach people about and help people with. Um, so yeah, you definitely can do that as far as your marketing plan. Um, which part of your marketing plan were you talking about, Sarah? Were you talking about the, um, the, the free content? So you can, if you were talking about like what amazing free stuff can you provide that gives a ton of value to your audience? All of those are good. If you're talking about leadership, if you're talking about job search, all of those, you're, you're show, it's like, it's almost like you wake up and you're like, what do I want to talk about today? What is, what is on my heart to tell people? What story, you know, did I, what, you know, what story do I have that can illustrate this point today for my clients? And so, you know, as long as your mindset is like, I'm helping people and I'm putting myself out there, post it and see how it does too. Um, cause you, you might be surprised at how you, just from like watching your metrics, you can really kind of see what does well, what people engage with as well. Um, I'd click post and do it. Cause I know Sarah, you're ready to go. Um, okay. Esther said someone earlier wanted to see the phases with details again. Okay. Thank you. Um, it's in the career coach marketing Academy. So join us in there and, and we will get you all set up. Um, we'll get you the actual PDF as well too. So you can see, um, you can see this entire PDF. Um, it's right in phase one. Um, okay. So I will do a big screen of it as well while I keep answering your questions here. Um, okay. There you go. Now you can see it on my screen. I'll keep answering questions. Okay. Thank you, Esther. Can you repost the link to sign up? Yes, thank you. Um, thank you, Tashe. Um, yes, so it is, I will post it in the link again. It is www.classycareergirl.com forward slash academy. And um, the doors will be closing as well too when this webinar stops um, and the price is gonna increase. We're gonna reopen next week, but only of you guys on the live webinar today, you lucky folks. Um, get in at this low price. Um, and then we will be increasing the price and reopening it for our list, uh, our email list next week. Um, so if you want this price point, I would definitely get in while our live webinar is going. Um, and like I said, it's just, you know, monthly membership, you can cancel anytime or you can pick the annual rate like Carrie did as well, which is really smart because that price is going to be going up next week too. Okay. Um, let me see. Did I miss any other questions? I think I got to them all. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, just post, um, post it right now. So it's at the bottom and I can see it. Um, I think I got everyone. Oh yes. You missed it. Step five revenue rock star. Um, yes, yes. There will be a replay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I don't see any more questions which is great timing because I hear little kids running in and they're about to um, open my door. So this is a good place to, to stop before we have, oh, see, we have, we have babies, <laughs> babies crying already. So, okay. I got to go be a mom. Um, thank you everyone for joining. If you have any questions, um, you can always email our team at support at Um, Super excited to have you guys here with me today. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon inside of the class of the Career Coach Marketing Academy. Join that Facebook group. We'll send you the link to it. And then we'll see you inside. Bye, everyone.